Start SolidWorks from the desktop. Double-click on the SolidWorks icon. You can also select the Start icon, Program Files, SolidWorks. When you first open SolidWorks, depending on your initial settings, you may receive the New Part dialog box. To begin, I'm going to select File, New. In SOLIDWORKS User Interface, there are icons, dialog boxes, and templates. In the Advanced Mode, you will see two tabs, Templates and Tutorial. In the Novice Mode, you will see three icons, Part, Assembly, and Drawing. The three icons represent the three different document types in SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to click on the Advanced button in order to display the Tutorial tab. The Tutorial tab default templates is what I will use with SOLIDWORKS Tutorials. Select Part and then say OK. The SOLIDWORKS Tutorials are found in the Help menu. Click Help from the main menu, Online Tutorial. You do not have to have access to the Internet in order to use these tutorials. On the right-hand side, the SOLIDWORKS online tutorials are displayed. The first tutorial we'll investigate is Lesson 1 Parts. Lesson 1, you will explore the basic features of SOLIDWORKS. But before we begin, let me describe a little bit about the user interface. Along the top, you will see pull-down menus, each containing a variety of commands that you can access. Below the pull-down menus is the standard toolbar. You should be familiar with some of these options like New, Open, Save. There are new options that we will talk about as we go through the lessons. Also, you will see what's called the Command Manager. The Command Manager allows you to display toolbars at the top of the graphics window. On the left-hand side, I can toggle between two different toolbars, the Features toolbar and the Sketch toolbar. The Sketch toolbar allows me to create 2D geometry. The Features toolbar will be where I create 3D geometry. The large white area in the center is your graphics window. Here is where your model will be displayed. On the left-hand side is the Feature Manager. The Feature Manager contains a variety of entries as you create your part. The top of the Feature Manager lists the part name. There are three default reference planes that were designed with your part template. The origin represents the intersection of these three planes. On the right-hand side is the task pane. The task pane contains a variety of entries to the design library, your file folders. If you don't see the task pane, select View and check Task Pane. Let's begin with the first lesson. I'm going to click on Lesson 1 Parts. The beginning of each SOLIDWORKS tutorial lesson gives you an overview of what we are going to do. The base feature is the first feature you will create in SOLIDWORKS. It requires a sketch when the base feature is an extrude base feature. Then we're going to add the boss, this circular protrusion. After the boss, we'll create a cut feature which will remove material and then add fillets to round the edges of the part. Lastly, we'll create a section view. To use the tutorials, click the Next button at the bottom of each